Sean, we don't have an exact answer to that just yet. You can see where the top of the backhoe is. That's where the water main break happened. But as uh, speaking of getting back to normal, you can see traffic flowing once again on Main Street. Now, the water department says the water will be unavailable for most of the day in the areas closest to that break between the Main Street here and Hills Avenue on School Street and Hills Avenue, that is, an area encompassing several city blocks. And one business says they've been told they won't have water until tomorrow morning. The water main breaks send an estimated 20 to 25,000 gallons of water a minute rushing down Main Street. The break happened about 7.15 in the morning as crews worked to set a trench box in preparation for moving a water hydrant. Brian Waldron knew something was wrong even before he got to his salon on Main Street. I was in the shower this morning when this happened, and, this, and I live right up the road, and the water went off mid-shower, so I wondered... What was going on? As water gushed from the ground, crews scrambled to find the shutoff back. The tank, we gotta get this. Got it? Ready to the hammer? it! The city engineer says the contractor had taken the proper precautions. You can see the size of the trench box that's right behind me. It's just, uh, it's just a matter of a very unfortunate accident that occurred. It took about two hours to shut off the water, meaning the initial estimate is that about two and a half million gallons of water flowed through the city streets, leading to additional concerns that all that water might have undermined foundations. We're not aware of any water damage on, on any foundations right now, uh, particularly uh, on this west side. Across Main Street, Dos Amigos was opening for business, but not sure how long they could keep going. However, the manager says when you do major construction projects, you have to expect some problems. These crews are working hard. It's, you know, it's, it's a mistake. We all make mistakes every single day, and uh, I don't know. I don't see the point in it. So we're going to power through, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful in the end. The city engineer says they don't have any estimates yet on the cost of this accident. He says once the water is restored, it might be cloudy for a while, so they recommend running your tap on cold water until the water is clear. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.